We're back with another reflection on the daily Vedantic, and today's episode is on the crown jewel, the crown jewel of discernment. In the Old Testament, King Solomon was granted anything he wanted from God. And what did he ask for? He didn't ask for an empire bigger than any other previous king. He didn't ask for a 60-year reign of his kingdom. He asked for wisdom. When he got that wisdom, he ended up becoming the most prosperous king in the entirety of the Old Testament. He ended up getting everything else that any king could have wished for, but he got it all because he asked for wisdom. Wisdom is clarity. There is this phrase, though, of wisdom is knowing what to do, virtue is doing it. So wisdom could be clarity and vision, but it might not include the virtue of following through and what you should do. That is where this paramount ideal within Vedanta of discernment comes in. It is the highest ideal. This absolute unit of a sage, Shankaracharya, who wrote many commentaries, was essentially a sage as a child and wrote many commentaries on these timeless Upanishads, also wrote a few of his own books. And one of them was Viveka Chudamani, which translates as the crown jewel of discernment. This was over a thousand years ago. But what he put forth is that discernment is the paramount ideal. Another term for Vedanta is Sanatana Dharma, which means eternal principles or eternal ideals. And there are so many different knowledge bombs, so many different ideals that rock you when you first hear them. But this idea that the, the ideal that is chief among them all is discernment. That doesn't really rock you when it hits you. I know for me, I thought, really? Discernment is the highest of all ideals in this philosophy? But it's one of those knowledge bombs that never stops going off. I remember days later, weeks later, months later, just feeling like, Holy shit. Discernment, especially in the West, how we look at wisdom as knowing what to do, but virtue, courage, selflessness as doing it. Discernment is both of those. It's knowing what to do and knowing what you should do. It's doing it and doing it perfectly. And if we can discern the what, the how, the when, the why perfectly, then you not only get everything you want, it's not just seeing what there is to be seen, it's knowing what there is to be known. Discernment as the crown jewel of all ideals. This is also in contrast to, in the West, we might say love is the highest of all ideals. But we've been saying that for a few thousand years. How many of us know how to love? How many of us are told love is the highest ideal, and yet we barely love one other person. And I say barely because we're conditionally attached to that significant other. It's not real love, it's not real identification, much less practice the ideal of loving everyone, which is conventionally set as the highest ideal here in the West. But discernment is knowing how to love whom to love, 
why it's in our interest to love them. Discernment is not really a word we use much in our society. You don't hear it that often. And yet, if you reflect on this, I know when I reflected on this for weeks, and now years and years later, it still becomes increasingly more clear that discernment, discerning signal from noise, right from wrong, that which generates energy, that which dissipates energy, discerning what is the mind and all of its attachments, and what does the higher ideal or the intellect tell me to do in a certain scenario. It is increasingly clear that it's the wellspring from which all other virtues and ideals come from. Not just in understanding, but in their practice. Because before, during, and after the application of anything like love, or kindness, or honesty, or generosity, it requires crystallized discernment of what to do when to do it, and how to do it. But if you're given a chance to ask for something from God, Vedanta, this philosophy, and you don't have to believe a word of this, you can actually completely disregard it. But this philosophy would say, ask for discernment, and you'll get everything else. That is today's reflection on the daily Vedantic. We'll see you next time.